Viewer discretion is advised. A school shooting in California to tell you about now, and we're just getting information in. The hard facts are these. Authorities in Northern California, Tehama County, the Sheriff's Department there reporting that three people are dead in a shooting in rural Northern California. The shooter killed after also wounding children at the school. Tehama County Sheriff's Office says multiple victims, multiple shots at this elementary school. Some reports have it near the school, but we can tell you right now uh, that the superintendent has arrived uh, there. A spokesperson from that office is also there at the school. Um, the number of deceased by law enforcement is what's being confirmed right now. We're getting some details, too, uh, about the victims at the school, but we don't have their ages outside of uh, the fact that we believe that they were students at the school. As we learn more about this, of course, we'll bring it to you. This Northern California situation has been playing out for about 25 minutes or so. We started getting some details into our newsroom, and as we hunt down the story and get people, put our reporting assets in place and, and our journalists there, uh, these are some of the details that are coming. Rancho Tehama School is the name of it. And uh, they are calling this still an active shooting. However, some of the details that I gave you already are that three people are reported dead uh, and several wounded. As we get more information about this, we'll bring it to you. This is Northern California, a rural area. You see there on the map. Uh, we are working the story and we'll bring you more info as we get it. Okay, guys. So how's it going today? UPS just stopped at my house and I had the truck backing in. So, uh, this will just be a little, uh, that's going to be a rant video, and hopefully by the, maybe the description or the title and whatever else there is, you guys will be able to tell what I'm talking about. So, yeah, all I can say is this, this is getting old, okay? If you guys watch any of the news around here in this fucking country, I don't care where the hell you are in this country, you should watch the news, uh, stop. Because I don't watch the news because it's full of bullshit, okay? And it's the same old goddamn thing every freaking time you turn on the news. You know, it's like, why would I even bother? It's like, they don't say anything else <clears throat> but what I'm, I'm, I'm about to talk about. Okay. So I just found out, apparently, they're, well, this morning anyway, I found out from my mother, because she hears it from online or whatever, that there was, apparently, was a shooting at a school I think it was in California or something like that. Um, well, it was a shooting. Okay, well, do you, do you not know how many shootings there have been this year alone? Now, this is this year has been worse than I, than I, than any other freaking year out, out there. Okay. Now, mind you, every year there is bullshit, but this year has been, seems to me anyway, seems like it's been more packed than it needs to be. Like, it has more news than it needs. So, what needs to happen, okay, is, and I happen to even see a, a, a commercial on TV about it. We're not about the shooting, but another subject that I'm going to get into as well. You know, the thing that needs to happen, okay, is, they, see, here's the thing. They always keep talking about shootings at, you know, churches, schools, businesses, whatever, okay, blah, 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 whatever. And then they're also sitting there talking about when cars run people over. Like, okay, how many times has that happened this year? Probably about 12 fucking times, if not more. And then you got these mass sh shootings. Okay, well, here's the thing. They need to quit posting this on the news, okay? This has to stop because 
the way I see it, and maybe you guys won't agree with me, but you guys can, you know, think whatever you want, however you want to think it, okay? I think what happens is that, yes, there are a lot of psychopaths out there, okay, fine. But where do you think that they're getting a lot of this information on how to do a certain job? Like, to go shoot up a school yet. And then there's, now you got kids and teachers injured. Okay. So, but the thing is, is where do you think these people learn this stuff from? They learn it. Now, I mean, yes, they probably, maybe it just comes to them, I don't know. But I think that they're getting a lot of this from the news. Because they know that the fucking news will always keep posting these shootings. And whatever the, whatever the hell else goes on in this world. So, I think if they were to stop showing this on the news... Altogether, every news channel that's out there, I don't care if, if they're good or not, there's a lot of news channels out there that are false, well, I don't want to say, well, they're putting false information out there, okay? You know, they're, they're making a lot of stuff up and, or they're, whatever it is, you know, they're, they're, those are the ones that shouldn't even be posting the news, Okay? And even the ones that are good, I don't think should be posting the news. I think that these news channels need to fuck off and stop because I think this is what's driving our country insane. Okay, because they keep seeing it all the time. Every day you turn on the fucking news and there's a, there's a shooting of some kind. And it's just not, just not a little hick town shooting. This is a massive shooting at a massive school. Okay, well, first of all, if you live in a fucking city and you got a massive school going on, it's kind of telling me that maybe you ought to start upping the damn security on these schools. Because somehow these motherfuckers are just able to walk into a school with a gun and start blowing people away. You know? I mean, so in a way, I think schools ought to have metal detectors and they ought to have, you know... Security guards. Apparently, you know, because nowadays we need them because there are a lot of insane people out there that cannot control their minds and they play way too much Grand Theft Auto. Okay? They play way too much of that and they take all that stuff into reality and it ruins it for everybody else. You know, they, they ruin it. So, by them posting the shit on the news, it needs to stop. Okay? So, I just I just think it needs to stop because I, it's the same old, first of all, it's the same old damn thing every day when you wake up. Oh, this guy shot this, this school up. Oh, this guy shot up this church. This guy tried to blow up a building, whatever. Like, where do you think, where do you think they're learning all this stuff from? They're learning it from the news. So the news is not all innocent either because they're doing a lot of, they're having, I think they're having a major role in this. You know. Like, I understand that's what the news is there for. They're supposed to report what goes on in the world. First of all, I don't give a fuck what goes on in other countries. They're sitting there talking about other countries that have issues. I don't give a shit about them. I don't. I care about my own country. So, but it's even to the point now, I don't even want to watch the news that has got to do with my own country because it's the same old thing, it gets boring, you know, no one learns anything off this. Everyone's fucking retarded. And it's like, what's the point? What's the point? What's the point of watching them when they keep talking about the same old thing all the time? You know? Like, just stop. Stop posting it. When you're posting it on the news... All you're doing is giving them 15 seconds of fame and then some other dick dickhead out there sees that and they're like, oh, I want my 15 seconds of fame. I'll go blow this guy's head off just so I can get 15 seconds of fame. 15 seconds of fame is not going to really do anything when you're going to be sitting in prison for the rest of your damn life. Like, 
I don't see the purpose of that. You get 15 seconds of fame, and in the rest of your life, you're sitting, you're sitting behind bars. Was that worth it? Was that all, was it fun to do? Like, that to me, it's just stupid. You know, it's like, and then some of these people are young, you know, like, you just threw your life away just because you wanted to go have some fucking fun. If you want to go have fun, then go play Grand Theft Auto then or something, you know? Don't fucking take that stuff into reality and, you know, kill real people and throw your life away. You know? See, at least in Grand Theft Auto, if you die in the game, you can come back to life. You don't get that chance in real life. Once you're dead, you're fucking dead. Once you get sent to prison for life, you're not coming back out of those fucking bars. Like, you kind of have to know the difference, you know? And a lot of people get pissed off at the, those kind of violent games, you know, because a lot, a lot of people do take a fake video game and they bring it into reality, which is the real world. If, you're, if your kid or whoever cannot tell the difference between them two then you should not be allowing your kid to play those kind of video games. You know, now, I played Grand Theft Auto, okay, but I don't take that game and bring it into reality. I keep it in the game world. I keep it in, you know, where it doesn't affect everybody else, you know? It's stupid. So, if, if you think your kid has some kind of a mental problem, and they're bringing games into real life, then you need to stop letting your kids play those games. Because then what those kids are doing is taking that, taking it out into the real world, going killing people, getting their 15 seconds of fame, and then their life gets thrown in prison. That seems like a lot of fun. I, ha I have more fun just playing video games and not bringing it out into the real world. You know, I keep that separate, you know. <laughs> there is a difference between reality and a fake video game, you know. But that, you know, it's whatever. If parents are going to be stupid, let them be stupid then. But what I'm trying to say is that stop showing it. Stop showing it because you're just, you're driving more people insane. We already have enough insane people as it is. We don't need any fucking more. You know, just quit showing it. I, we don't give a shit, okay? I wish everyone in America would just stop watching the news, stop su supporting them. When you're watching their channel and those commercials come on, they get paid for that. Well, if you, maybe if you'd stop watching it, then maybe they wouldn't get paid for it then. Because they realize that, hey, no one's watching this shit anymore. And they're, and they're losing out. And, and, and their view, view, viewer counter went down. Okay. Let it happen. Let let them fall apart. Let them stop showing the news. Because as long as they're going to keep getting the same old fucking stories, you guys are not even getting new material in. It's the same old fucking thing on a daily basis. I stopped watching the news years ago because it was just to the point where it's the same old fucking thing. There's nothing new going on in the world. Like... I don't even hear anything good going on in the world. It's all fucking negative bullshit. I want to hear positive stuff. I want to hear what's going on that has changed people's lives for the better. You know? I want to know what's going on with the people that got hit with hurricanes and, and floods, you know, from this past year. And I want to know, you know, what the positive is there, you know? I want to know what's happening. I want to know if those people have gotten new homes built, if they got their businesses back up and running. You know, where's the positive stuff in, in this world? It's all negative. The negative pile is this tall, okay? The negative pile. And the positive pile is down here. They don't show enough of the positive stuff. You know, it's always negative stuff, you know? It's like, this gets a little old. I want to hear some good stuff now for once, you know? It's like, it's the same old fucking thing. I'm tired of it. I've, I, I don't know how many times I've tried to tell my grandma to stop watching the news. She has a, she likes to watch the fucking news. She watches the world news. I don't give a shit what goes on in other countries. I don't live there. I don't give a fuck. Okay? I care about my own goddamn country. Okay? 
I don't care what's going on in China. I don't care what's going on in North Korea. I don't care what's going on in, in, in whatever other fucking countries are out there, okay? I could care less. I don't even care what the fuck goes on in Iraq. And why are our, 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 our men out there helping them? Let them fucking fight it out. Let them to fight it out, okay? Bring our soldiers back and let them defend this country. Fuck Iraq. Who cares about Iraq? What has Iraq ever done for us? You know? Nothing. They've always hated us, so what? Fuck them. Let them kill each other. Who the hell cares? You know? That's probably the reason why the terrorists come over here and, and they kill us. You know? Well, let them kill each other. Who gives a shit? Uh, I don't. I'm tired of it. I don't, I don't even want to hear the fucking news anymore. It's stupid. Okay. And then I didn't watch the whole thing. This, okay, I seen it this morning. Okay, I seen a, 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 a commercial ad, whatever the fuck you want to call this stupid thing. I only watched maybe five seconds of it, and I had to change the channel. Okay, because this, this, this was pissing me off. There was a commercial, okay, about the news companies, okay, um, that they claim that they're telling the truth. And whatever, okay, blah, blah, blah. And they're upset that Donald Trump is trying to close them down, shut them down, whatever, okay, whatever that case may be. Whatever the fuck's going on there now, I don't really know. But you know what? I wish that Donald Trump would close them down. Because for one, they're not telling the truth, okay? And two, there's nothing positive ever coming out of this, you know? Like... They're not doing us any good in this world. You know? It's like, let's, let's just stop the bullshit. Okay? Maybe if you if, if the news channels did fuck off, get shut down, or very limited to what they can even show, or, you know, maybe just one news channel instead of like 15 news channels. There's too many fucking news channels out there in this world, okay? We don't, we don't need all that. We don't. And... <clears throat> You know, it's either one of those, and maybe if they did that, there'd be less violence in this world because ninety. I think ninety-nine percent of these motherfuckers are learning their violence off the news channels. They're not learning it from fucking drugs or anything like that. I mean, some people do go insane off of drugs, but it seems like most of these people that have been caught in the past year were not even on drugs. They were just mentally freaking disturbed. So, telling me, they shouldn't be watching the news, they shouldn't be playing video games, first of all. And, those kind of people need to have a lockdown. You know? So, the way I see it is I think Donald Trump ought to shut the news channels down. Okay, because we don't need them. They're making it harder for everybody. They're showing repeats. The only thing that's, that's different about it is the faces of the people that have been killed and the faces of the suspects that were that were committing the crimes. That's the only thing that's ever changed. But in other words, the rest of the story is the same. This guy went and killed this guy. Oh, this guy went and copied this guy, and now he went and killed this person. You know, it's like, really? They, they, they keep taking the same path because the other guy took the same path. And then where does it go? It goes on the same path of the news channels, and everyone sees that. And then when it goes to the news, then it gets shown on TVs, and then the whole world sees it, the whole country, whatever. And then you got that one little, little prick that's going to watch that, and then he's going to go out, and he's going to go do the same thing over there. If, if, if they would stop getting their 15 seconds of fame, I bet you crime would probably decrease. I'm not saying it would stop 100%. But even if it puts a 10% dent in this, I think it's worth it. Because there's too much crime going on in this country. And there's nothing really being done about it. You know? Oh, this guy gets put in prison. These families just have to deal with it and, you know, and live on with their lives, you know, that they lost a family member. Well, maybe if you just would get rid of the fucking news in the first place, then none of this would fucking happen. You know, 
I blame it all on the fucking news. I think the news is, is just, for me anyway, I think they're involved in it. I think they're they're going to these people saying, hey, if you go kill this person and this person and this person, we'll put you on the news and we'll give you a million dollars, even though you can't spend it because you'll be in prison for the rest of your life. Okay, I'll go do that for no money. Yeah, I'll get money, but I'll be in my I'll be in in prison. So just give the money. You know, you can just keep the money. Like that's the way I see it. It's just basically like the news wants people to do it, so they go and tell them to go do it, and just just so they have something to fucking talk about. Well, if you got nothing to talk about, then don't air nothing. Then that's simple. Don't be going to people and begging people to go do something stupid just so you can get make more money, get more views, and let this guy get his 15, 15 seconds of fucking fame. Okay? I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm against that. You know, that's just stupid. Stop posting it. The news companies do need to fuck off. And I think Trump ought to get, ought to, get to shut those channels down. They're not needed. They're not necessary in this world. Because there's nothing ever positive coming out of it. It's always negative. And I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of waking up every morning to hearing that, oh, this guy went on a rampage, shot a bunch of people, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And now up in the cities, you know, like an hour south from here, there was a guy that was threatening to blow up the hospital. And I think it's the very same hospital that they plan on spending $250 billion on to rebuild or to build a new one. And he's just a fucking white guy. It's like, really? You're going to do that? Now, that wasn't on the news channels as far as I know it wasn't. But I know it was on YouTube because there was a news channel. They're not on TV. They're just, they're just on YouTube alone. And they post stuff once in a while. Well, basically, like, four times a day, it seems like. <laughs> I know, this guy was threatening to blow up the hospital. I, I wouldn't, even sh wouldn't even post it. Because now, some other creep on YouTube is going to see that, and they're going to go do the same thing. Like, that's, I think that's how this, this will just keep going and going and going. Because they keep airing it and airing and airing it. And it pisses everybody off. And then it gets the psychopaths all happy and joyed, and, and they want to go. They're just copying other fucking people. They're copycats. So why should they get their 15 seconds of fame? That's all I'm saying. How about don't post it, and just whatever, you know? Then maybe that way people won't fucking be as stupid to go do it, because they won't know what the hell is exactly going on. You know? I'm just saying. That's just my two cents on it. You guys can say whatever you want to say. If you disagree with it, whatever. This this is America. We do have a right to our own opinions. This is just mine. If you got a totally different opinion, leave it in the comment section. I don't give a shit. But I'm just going to tell you like it is. You know. <clears throat> it's, it's just time to shut these news channels down and be done with it. Because they're all fake, lying, bullshitters. You know, especially the ones that are fake and full of bullshit. There's probably one or two out there that might actually be some good. But I say fuck, fuck them all. You know, because it's stupid. There's never nothing positive coming out of this. Oh, besides the guy, the guy's going to prison. Oh, what the fucking do? We've heard that ten million times today. You know, like this is why I stopped watching the news. But mother, she'll never shut her damn trap. She always comes when I wake up. She's like, oh, did you hear? Look, this guy blew up this person or whatever. You know, I don't care. That's why I keep telling you to stop telling me this. I tell my grandma the same thing. Stop talking about it. If you, if you want to talk about it, then you two can talk it out. Leave me out of it because I'm done. I'm done. I don't give a shit anymore because there's, there's nothing positive coming out of this. It's always negative. And it's the same old thing on top of that. Same old thing. This guy killed that guy. Oh, this guy ran over this fucking guy for no reason. No, wait a minute. 15 seconds of fame. That's why I did it. There you go. 
But then you gotta realize, too, you're gonna be sitting in prison for a long ass fucking time. Yeah. That seems like a lot of fun. Just for 15 seconds of fame. Why don't you go get your 15 seconds of fame in a way that doesn't affect the rest of your life? How about go do something, you know, go help the hurricane victims or the tornado victims, whatever. Go help them out and change somebody's life in a positive way. And then you'll get put on the fucking news for doing something actually good and positive. And that won't affect the rest of your fucking life. You know? Like, really? Okay. Have fun with that then. You know. And I'm just saying. So. But that's just my little rant. Um, that's just all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Because that's, I'm tired of hearing it. And I wish, I, and I do hope that the news channels do watch this video. I hope you guys share it. Share it on Facebook. Wherever social media websites are out there, go ahead and share this video. I'm, I'm not going to give one fuck. Okay? And I hope that it gets out there. It needs to get out there. There's a lot of other YouTubers that are on the same boat with me. You know? I think it's just time to shut these fucking news channels down and be done with it. Or at least stop posting the same old thing. If there's the same things going on all the time, you don't need to sit there and talk about every each and every one of them. Just stop. Just stop. Move on to a different subject. Like, is there, is there any positive that comes out of these news channels? I, I, I just don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. So, I don't see it. It's all negative. So, but whatever. So anyways guys, I'm taking off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, take care easy.